All right, so this is my Kawasaki Vulcan. It's a uh, 2006. Um, it's a really small cruiser style motorcycle. Um, I picked her up for about $2,600 in 2012. 2012, that sounds about right. Um, it has approximately, I think at this point, uh, 7,500 miles on it. I'll see it here in a second. But, um, it's a parallel twin. It is 498cc, 500cc. Uh, the actual full title is Kawasaki Vulcan 500 LTD. And so, um, it's got dual CV carbs, uh, runs on the minimum octane fuel, so mine took 87 fine. Uh, I just washed her and waxed her today and went around the block real quick and decided to take a video. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, she gets really good gas mileage. Not as nearly as good as what I get now. So, or wait, it gets way better than what I get now. So I, that came out weird. So, she got 65 to low 55s on average. Um, 55 was when I was just romping it everywhere, which, you know, it happens, but, um, eventually you'll hear a roar, and I'm going to, uh, hear her roar, <laughs> hear her putter at idle, and, um, I will show you, uh, a clip towards the end of it, what it sounded like, um, straight piped. I took off the baffles. Actually, I took off the mufflers to try to drill out the baffles, and you can't do this on that bike at all. And I had learned from that. So, And in this video, I'm actually talking about how I'm planning on selling it. Uh, I sold it for 2500 and that was a year later, and I think that was still a fair price. Uh, these bikes are um, pretty cheaply sold, and they're great bikes, great beginner bikes. Um... Still got lots of tread on the tires when I sold it. The only thing that was the downside of these bikes was uh, when you're going in a turn real hard, sometimes you'd scrape the kickstand or scrape uh, the exhaust. So I got a bike with better ground clearance, and also I don't like the pegs not being in front of me. Or, I mean, under me. They are, they are in front of me in this bike. And that's the only ding that I got in that bike, and that's because I used one of those plastic... Uh, kickstand things and it had rolled backwards and slid over so it was no good and yes that's the only thing that really happened from it though so that's good uh, dual stage chokes really come in handy it's cold-blooded engine so yep and then you can see down there there's the uh, idle adjustment well maybe not anymore there's a the little black knob and that came really handy to set the idle, so... Well, I'm about to start it up. Okay, so that was the uh, straight pipe exhaust of the Vulcan, and um, it actually sounds pretty meaty like that, not gonna lie. Uh, the blue bike that you saw was actually the Nighthawk 750 that I had bought 
and that's the reason why I'm selling the bike, is I needed to uh, replenish my funds. So, yep, um, she's a good bike. I would recommend it to anybody. Uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.